Shout out to Brown, Aaron. Boy, Money Brown, he get a lot of money. That's why I call him Money Brown. What's <laughs> <laughs> good, Money Brown TV? What up, what up? Yeah. Yeah. I want to give a shout out to Money Brown TV. Thank you so much for everything. Hey, Brian Garcia here. Shout out to Money Brown TV and uh, keep punching, baby. Yo, 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 what's going on out there, Fight World? It's your boy Money back with another one, man. And this one here is on two big dogs in this boxing game. Earl the True Spence Jr., the king of the welterweight division, the unified WBC and IBF world champ, looking to take on Manny Pacquiao August the 21st. Then we have Keith one-time Thurman, the former WBC and Super WBA world champion. And Keith Thurman is coming out. You know, running his mouth saying, you know, Earl Spence is ducking him. Um, he's the reason why the fight is happening with Earl Spence and Manny Pacquiao. And, you know, Earl Spence is on Haterade. So I want y'all to listen to what Keith Thurman has to say. And I will be back with this great assessment, family. I think he really hates that, he's, that he was the 12 Olympics, that I had a little bit of a gap before him to make a name. And that gap, he's been beating who I beat, stopping people, you know, knocking out Bundu to make a statement, you know what I mean? And no matter what statement he makes, the next question is, so what do you think about Thurman, you know? And, and, I, and, I, and I feel that, and I feel that, and I feel like that can make you juggle down some motherfucking haterade, okay? <laughs> Eventually he's gonna run out of options to make a legitimate, enticing pay-per-view match, right? His first pay-per-view against Mikey, whack sparring session people paid for, whack. You know what I'm saying? Uh, him versus um, Porter, that fight was good because Porter made it good. That's what Porter does. Porter makes a fight a fight. You know what I mean? I'm not going to really, you know, and, and, and he won the fight, you know, but I still don't see EJ himself as a dominant you know, pay-per-view force, you know, with his, with the way that he, he boxes and, and his style. Um, he's, he's very picky. He takes his time. He fights his fight. Fuck the fans. And I get it, EJ. Fuck the fans. Win the fight. Do what you and coach got to do to stay champ. I get that. I understand that Floyd philosophy. I'm walking out of this ring, the winner today. That's very important, but you know, I know, like I said, he's going to run out of options when it comes to making one of a very exciting, enticing pay-per-view fight. He has Pacquiao now. It's going to, it's perfect. It's, a, it's big. post pack. what you got? So man. be it. If he puts all his life force and energy to never see me in the ring, so be it. You know what I mean? I was never my intention. I always intended to fight him in 2020. I thought it was an Olympic year. I was, I was gonna beat Pacquiao. I was gonna be the undefeated welterweight. This fight right now that's about to happen is supposed to be my fight. Thurman wins, this fight never manifests. Just doesn't even manifest, right? So only because of me does he get to dodge me. So if he really fully dodges me and throughout our whole career at the end of it, I'm gonna know it happened because of me falling short of victory in the summer of 19. Now, this dude, Keith Thurman, is the biggest cornball in boxing now, bro. This dude is the biggest cornball in boxing now, bro. How this dude can sit up here, you, Keith Thurman, how you can sit up here and say that, oh, Earl Spence is jealous because you had a little gap on him. He was in the 2012 Olympics. Nobody can predict what fucking Olympics they go through. through I mean, they go to, dude. You sound dumb as hell. Real dumb. Then you say that, oh, um, EJ is going to run out of options after he beat Manny Pacquiao. Post pack, assume he beat Manny Pacquiao. Dude, Earl Spence got fights set up from 147 to 160. And arguably got a, the biggest fight of them all with Canelo Alvarez. Who the fuck need Keith Thurman? Because sure not no Earl Spence. Earl Spence don't need Keith Thurman. Keith Thurman need Earl Spence. You understand what I'm saying? And then this man sit up here and say, Earl Spence uh, don't get a fans to fight that they looking for. He's picky. Last time I checked, bro, Earl Spence, all this fucking fights is exciting. This dude got a come forward style. This dude has a fighting style, right? Show me an Earl Spence fight that wasn't exciting. Keith Thurman, bro, you the dude that talking about all you got to do is win seven rounds and you won the fight. You the dude that go six rounds and then your ass gas out because you ain't got no gas tank. You the dude that try to box your way to a win in the second half of the fight. And you talking about, oh, Earl Spence say fuck the fans. 
Man, you so fucking corny, um, um, Keith Thurman, bro. Then you sit up here and say that um, Sean Porter made the fight with Earl Spence. That's what Sean Porter do. No, Sean Porter made the fight with your ass, fool. He came and got your ass, fool. Earl Spence came forward, you, you, you clown. Earl Spence dropped Sean Porter. When did you drop him? Okay. Okay, when did you drop him? Now we sit up here, man. Listen, Keith Thurman is one hell of a fighter. But long at the top of the division at the 147-pound division. But I see why Earl Spence don't want to get his dude to fight. I see why. This dude say this fight only happens because he lost the fight with Manny Pacquiao. No, Manny Pacquiao whooped your ass in that fight. Took your title. Whooped you and took your title. You feel me? This fight happening because Earl Spence put himself in position for this fight to happen. Earl Spence made himself the number one killer at the welterweight division. Manny Pacquiao tried Bud first, Ryan Garcia first, right? Conor McGregor first. So this fight don't happen because of no goddamn Keith Thurman. You understand what I'm saying? This don't happen because of you. He ain't got the WBA title no more. Ugas got your title, homie. The title that Pat took from you, Ugas got the title. This fight happens because Manny Pacquiao is a fucking legend in the sport. And Earl Spence is the number one fight at the welterweight division. Manny Pacquiao couldn't find a fight with Thurman because Bob didn't want to pay the money. Conor McGregor lost. Ryan Garcia was some, on some other shit. And now he fell to, to Earl the True Spence Jr. because he needed a big payday. And, and he, he know that Earl Spence would bring the money. And Al Heyman would pay him for the Earl Spence fight. That's why this fight is happening, bro. Keith Thurman, you better stop sniffing whatever the fuck you sniffing. And come right back down to earth to reality, bro. Come back to reality. You need Earl Spence. Earl Spence don't need you. At all. You had your opportunities to fight Earl Spence. You turned them down. Now you talking about, oh, the fight must have been in 2020. No, I remember you said the fight could happen in 2017. With a little change on it. 2017, right? But when you came back, it is the get back year. Um, he's not on my to-do list. You know, but you wanted to fight Manny Pacquiao. If you was in good enough shape to fight Manny Pacquiao, you was in good enough shape to fight Earl Spence. You wanted to fight Conor McGregor. You could have fought Earl Spence. You wanted to fight Jeff Horn. You could have fought Earl Spence. So miss us with the bullshit, Keith. Miss us with it, bro. If he died, you is because uh, if he died you for the, for your entire career, motherfucker, you the reason you the one dodged him. Ain't no Earl dodging you, bro. Your ass left. You been out for two whole years, bro. Two whole years and you coming back like you run something. Cut the bullshit, Keith. Cut the bullshit. Get yourself back in position. You've been out for two years. You ain't even fought a motherfucker yet. Manny Pacquiao about to fight Earl Spence. Who are you fighting, Keith? Who are you fighting? Huh? Who are you fighting? You talking about you okay with fighting Javante Davis? Get your corny ass out of here somewhere, man. Get out of here somewhere. You need Earl Spence. Earl Spence has Turnsville Crawford next. Earl Spence can go to 154. Earl Spence can go to 160. Earl Spence can fight Ugas. Earl Spence can fight fucking Jerron Boost Ennis. Earl has so many options out there. So many options. Keith Thurman, he don't need you, bro. You need him. That's why every time you and Nestor Gibbs get together, you got to open up your goddamn mouth about Earl Spence. Every fucking interview you did, you opening up your mouth about Earl Spence. Earl ain't opening up his mouth about you. That's the difference, bro. That's the difference. You lost. You took the L. You the one trying to get back. You the one talking about your 100% now. You feel me? So at the end of the day, bro, this dude Keith Thurman, he's running his mouth. This dude put his foot in his own mouth. You know, he fuck up money for himself. We see why Earl Spence don't want to get him to fight because you're a corny cornball. You can't get credit where credit is due. You really want Earl to lose. You act like you want him to win, but you really want him to lose. You can't give credit what credit is due. You just took all this man, just do away from him. All of them. He ain't a pay-per-view fighter, but he fighting this fourth pay-per-view in a row. You fought in one pay-per-view that many Pacquiao carried. You fought in one pay-per-view that many Pacquiao carried. Earl Spence is in his fourth pay-per-view. The man fought Mikey Garcia in the hell of a fight, right? Put him on another level. The man fought Sean Porter on pay-per-view. The man fought Danny Garcia on pay-per-view. Now the man about to fight Manny Pacquiao on pay-per-view. And if Earl get past Manny Pacquiao, guess what? He's going to have another fight on pay-per-view. So how the fuck is he not pay-per-view worthy, Keith? Keith, you're looking bad in these streets, bro. You're looking really bad and you're looking desperate. 
you looking bad and you looking desperate to get back in the hunt because you see that the welterweight division has moved on without Keith Thurman, bro. That's a fact. The welterweight division has moved on without Keith Thurman, and nobody is checking for Keith Thurman, bro. You got people checking for Jerron Boots, Ennis, and Virgil Ortiz more than they're checking for Keith Thurman, and that's a fact, bro. That's a fact. Cats out here are checking for Jerron Boots, Ennis, and Virgil Ortiz more than they're checking for Keith Thurman. Thurman, you're looking bad in these streets, bro. Look, you want the Earl Spence fight? I want Earl to fight you. I want Earl to beat your ass, fold you up like a launcher, send your ass back to Florida packing. But the way you talking, the way you discrediting, the, the, and, and, and you making it like you are the man at the division, dude, I see why he ain't giving your ass to fight. And if he don't get your ass to fight, I won't be pissed off. I don't care what nobody say. If Earl don't get Keith Thurman to fight, I won't be pissed off. As long as he fight Terrence Boyd Crawford, I'm A-OK. -okay. If he fight Terrence Boyd Crawford, then fight you Dennis Ugas, then move on to 154, I'm A-OK. -okay. If Keith, you want to run your ass to 154 and try to put yourself in position for a fight, that's what you need to do. Because right now, I really don't give a damn if Earl fights you or not. At first, I wanted Earl to fight you, but the way you talking, I really don't give a damn if Earl fights you or not, bro. You you the biggest cornball in boxing now. You ain't Nestor Gibbs the snitch. The biggest cornball in boxing, bro. Work your way back to the position, right? Earl told you the tables would turn. When you were sitting up there like you was this, that, and the third, look at you. You, you had different energies back then. Now you got all this energy. Every time you're around that man, your energy is different. But when you're in front of a camera and you're away and he far away, you talk all that shit in the world. That's the definition of a corny, cornball-ass dude. And that is Keith Thurman, a corny, cornball-ass dude. At the end of the day, Earl the True Spence Jr. is going to go fight Manny Pacquiao. He's going to show you how to be the legend. Take notes, Keith. Take notes. And hopefully, like I say, hopefully you can work your way into a position to get an Earl Spence fight just to get your motherfucking eye closed up like it is now and get your fucking ribs broken. At the end of the day, good luck, ESJ. Go out there and handle your business August 21st, man. Until then, this your boy Monty. It's the NSBC moving and nobody's safe in these streets. Hit them thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you want to donate OG Money on Cash App. TreyHap52 at gmail.com on PayPal. If not, just tell a friend, tell a friend. Hit the subscribe button. Like, comment, share the video. Y'all know how your boy get down, man. Big dog status, family.